Okay, so what you do, bleach measuring cups. I fill this one up up to 500 milliliters, okay? And then I fill this one up up to uh, just, or uh, sorry, I fill this one up 500 milliliters, and then I fill it up to 450 of just water. I do two of those, and then I do 50 milliliters of bleach, okay? And then we go over here. I'd like to point this thing out. Um, it's a strainer. You can use a different strainer if you want, but I like it because it does this for you. I got it at Walmart, okay? And tweezers, of course, for the small leaves. I then dump it in a plastic container like this with gloves. These are the eggs I found this evening, only five. And I'll show you the next step in the next video. Okay, so eggs. Alexa, set a timer for one minute. One minute, starting now. So we wait a minute, and what you want to do, you got to have gloves on for this. And you just kind of swirl them for exactly a minute. So you pull them out, and just throw them in there. So you use the strainer. It's hard to do this with one hand. Make sure you're still wearing gloves. Take each leaf. Don't have the water on full blast like I just did for this. And then just run it. I give them a second. You can see the egg on there. Run it. And then pretty much put it on the towel. Let it dry. And repeat this process for the rest of your leaves. Use the towel here. Just kind of dry them. Just be very gentle. Super gentle. You don't need to dry them too much because you still want those leaves to stay moist. But they just be super gentle. You don't want to smash the egg. Um, and now you take each one and put them in the container, your breeding container. It's really hard to do this with one hand. And then you should already know this process. But the reason why you do this to the eggs is it ensures that they won't end up with the black plague. And once you get them in your container, you repeat this process for all the eggs that you find. What I do is I change this. Um, I use, you always want to do the same process with your new leaves. As you can see, these are new leaves and these are fresh larvae. Um, I keep a container of food. Um, I keep it uh, for a little bit. Um, but that should be enough for up to the fifth instar. And then I got to repeat the process. But I, I cut a good amount. And then if you look, these leaves had a bunch of mites on them and all this other stuff. And they came out good. They eat it. This is disinfected completely. So it's 100% safe to eat. You're not throwing away just cutting and throwing away your, your plant that grew, you're actually able to use it. Obviously check for eggs before you do this, but yeah, and then I just store it in the fridge. Um, the bleach I switch out every couple days, maybe two, three days. So um, in this case, if you do this process, you can leave the bleach in there for like a week. And we're just leaving the bleach in there for like a week. Um, I mean, just make sure it's clean. This, uh, don't make, make sure it's not over wet because otherwise you'll get mold. So I make sure it's kind of dry. Um, same process, you know, put them in the bleach, rinse them really, really good, put them on a towel, dry it completely, and then put it in there. Now, with my containers, what I've been doing is I take a little bleach, so watch. So I take a little tiny bleach, just dump it in there. Well, too much. And then I just fill it up with water. I try not to let it splash, but for the sake of this video. Now you can see it's literally soaked. And I leave it for a minute or two and I come back and clean it. And then you do the same thing. You just kind of throw the lid in there. And uh, same thing. Um, use gloves when working with bleach. I do everything at night. So I got a headlamp. I got headphones. Very important. So if you look, this is for tiny leaves. And what I do is I actually cut 
Um, like I'll look in the flower, I'll see an egg, and I'll cut the part of the flower that has the egg. I don't cut the whole thing because you want those flowers to attract them still. So I just take the flower that's um, got the egg on it, So and I, it's literally a tiny piece. So you need tweezers, all this stuff I bought at Walmart. Tweezers help this, you put it in here and you mix it in the bleach and the uh, same process, strain it, clean it, so forth. You need bleach, a container, and then the mixing cups. Um, I do that much, and if you do a bigger batch, like huge batches, if you want to do branches, I do a container like that, and then I just do the math accordingly.